Hello YouTube, and welcome to another DBT Gamer Special. Today, again, we are on the Wii U, and we're going to have a look at another classic Game Boy Advance game. This is Klonoa Empire of Dreams. Now, I have never, repeat, never played a Klonoa game before. So, this is going to be my first time playing one. So, let's give this series a shot. Now, okay, nice, simple opening. My only option is new game. Fine, you know what? Uh, let's see, file one. Sounds good to me. Where did I come from? Where did the blue winds blow? Where am I going? Where white clouds flow? So if I dream, I am sure to wake. Okay, this is kind of pixelated anime opening. Huh? Hey! What the hate? Stop! Hey! Okay, I'm being carried away by random people. Hi. So, you're the stranger who dares enter into my dream empire. Stranger? Where am I? Who am I? What am I? How am I? And several more questions. <laughs> this is the Empire of Dreams. The, the, the Emperor of Dreams, Julius. Where dreams are forbidden. After all, dreams won't put food on the table. I, I beg to differ. If you dream of like a invention, then you create that invention, then that invention can create money and therefore it can put food on the table. It'll take a lot of time and development, but it will happen. If you have the time to spare, you should work, play, or fall in love. Bow chicka bow wow. <laughs> or kisses, whatever. Dreams are no use. Ah, I call bullshit. Dreams are useful. No, that's not true. Why is it so wrong to dream? Humph. How dare you defy me? Insolent boy, the Emperor suffers from insomnia and you dare to speak such nonsense? You shall pay for your insolence. Wait! Let's us test his metal. So you want to test my metal, eh? You know what? Fine! There are four monsters terrorizing the land. Our Glacier's Empire shall pardon you of if you get rid of all. Okay, okay. So... However, you will soon realize your folly. Hee 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 hee. Oh, that thing's cute. Whatever it is, it's absolutely adorable. Looks like we're in trouble now. Where is this place? Okay, the thing's called Pow. Hugh Pow. Let's take out a. Let's take a look around. Maybe we can find a clue. Okay. You're all right. Let's go. Quite nice music. 
Okay, so there are five worlds in the game. We've got Grassland. Uh, one that's got a volcano, I think. There's a castle. The other one could be like a tree, and the other one could be like a snowland, I guess. Those. Fighting City. Okay. Mm, excuse me, but. Hey! What was that for? Don't you wimps know anything in, in, in here? Grassland only strength is respect. Ouch! That hurt! We greet people by, by punching the shit out of them! If you love fighting so much, why don't you fight the monster? Ow! Seriously, come on! This is not funny anymore! Well, not even our champion was a match for that beast. So... Whoever defeats the monster becomes the new champion. Huh? But it's not that easy. It might hurt, you know? Oh, jeez. So where is the monster? It's on top of that mountain. Okay, so I'm climbing a mountain. I need my ropes, uh, my hiking, my spiked boots to climb the mountain, and let's go. Oh, I can just run really fast up there. Hey, wait. You don't stand a chance. Okay. Uh, controls. Yeah, I, I, I got this is a 2D dimensional platformer. How hard can it be? Okay, I can pick up enemies and throw them. This is this is basically Kirby. So, yeah, let me just talk about Klon Klonoa a bit. Um, I'm excited for the Klonoa um, collection coming to Nintendo Switch. That's why I wanted to um, bring attention to this one. Okay, so you can change control, that's nice. Okay. Apparently that's all the controls could give me. I may have to even look at the um, onboard manual, which was a nice feature of the Wii U. Oh wait. Use a blue use a bullet to catch the enemies, then use them to double jump. Oh okay, I see. I got this now. It, 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 that's interesting. Yeah, this is part of a of like a sub series of videos that I'm making lately. It's mostly about games that I feel that people should grab before the um, Wii U eShop goes offline because we're you know we're coming to the end of the Wii U eShop's life. It's going to happen in less than a year from now. So, I, I thought I'd bring some attention to these classic games so it gives people the chance to buy them before they disappear, before it's too late. Okay, yes, you could argue but DBT Gamer, these games might come to the Switch. You know, Nintendo Switch Online will surely save these games from obscurity. Y yes, that is a point, and you know, I hear you, random internet person in the background who who is totally 
shouting at the screen right now and talking to me. And I'm not saying you're wrong. In the past, I have talked about other consoles. Okay, I got all three gold stars. I don't know what they do, but... Oh, I can also hover as well. By hold jumping and holding it. That's... A very brief horror though, but it could be useful later on. I I I'm missing one crystal here. The game's only giving me free health, so it's um very um. It, the game itself doesn't feel that difficult, to be honest. Well, I have no idea what, the, what that crystal is, and I'm not gonna spend the whole video looking for it. So, I think I'll call this level pretty much done. Oh, I'm sorry, Vision. The map screen is um, quite interesting. It's um, a 2.5D. Whoops, sorry, I went into the um, the Wii U save state menu there. Yeah, the Wii U could do save states. That was a quite interesting and um, useful feature that... Uh, you could quite easily exploit. Uh, the other day I was, I was playing um, Metroid Zero Mission at my sister's house and the uh, save states just helped when we were fighting bosses a lot. to figure that out game, but thank you anyway. Oh, I think I might... Yeah, there we go. Minute. Uh, so, what am I thinking of this game so far? I, I, I like it! The um, graphics, they're very detailed for the Game Boy Advance. You know, these are some of the most detailed sprites in in 2D, you know, I, I've I've seen on the Game Boy Advance, they're a little bit blurry it, it, on my big telly. So maybe this game would look slightly better on the Game Boy Advance itself. But overall, you know, this looks good. Excuse me, sorry. Hair fever. It's it's springtime and the DBT gamer has hair fever. Yeah. Great. Okay. Got an extra life there. And another star. I'm not so sure what the stars do or the gems, but it's just random collectibles as far as I can tell. They're fun. They don't seem to give me extra lives or anything, so I, I, I get a hundred of them, so that's... They're not like coins in in Mario. Right, I, I think I see this is a, a bit more complex now. You put a brick there, and then you use the enemy to double jump, and then you can make it. Okay, that's the door out of here, but we can't reach that. and got the uh, enemy. So, yeah. Right, that one's way too high up, I'm gonna... Also... Okay, made it. Nailed it! 
Okay, you've got all 30 gems and the, all three stars. That's a perfect score for that level. Perfection! Thy name is Klonoa. Enjoying this so far. It cost me six pounds twenty nine on the Wii U eShop. This and it's not bad for what I paid for. Now, if you want an actual physical copy of this game, you are talking ooh, um, 50, maybe even 60, 70 pounds. You know, it's not depending on how you want your game if you want the manual, or if you want the box, or if you want the each door has a key with a matching symbol. Use a circle key on the circle door. Yeah, okay, I get that. And, yeah. So, I, I do like collecting physical games, but when games become that expensive and there is another avenue I can travel down, like the um, virtual console, I will go for it. I, I have um, bought some more Game Boy Advance games. Some of them are digital ones, some are physical, and I'm hoping to show them off in the future. Uh, one which I'm thinking about showing off is, um, is the original, well, not the original original, but the first Fire Emblem game that came to the UK, which was on the Game Boy Advance. I've played it before and it's it, it's good. Well, I've played about two thirds of it before and it's good. So that that'll be a video I do in the future because Fire Emblem games, woo, they are expensive. A hundred and fifty pounds for the first game. When I was walking through town the other day. Looking at retro games in CX, a hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, that's a that's um just shocking. Apparently, there was a cancel Klonoa game on the Game Boy Advance World, which was some sort of action RPG. If you look it up on YouTube, you can find it, or you can search it on Google. That's quite interesting. Because, yeah, I think this guy... Seems like he could do an action RPG. Okay. Now, where? Uh, You see them run to Klonoa towards the camera. That's quite an interesting choice of sprite. You know, I was thinking just left, right. Oh, but you can run also away from the camera. It's. I know the Klonoa games have um, a 2.5D on the PlayStation and on the. PlayStation 2 and Nintendo Wii. Uh, but. Yeah. But I don't think. This game have a 2.5D aspects. I mean, the backgrounds, they're definitely nice and a, of a, a high quality. But. I mean, if this game does try and do some 2.5D at one point, I I I'll welcome it. And it'll be impressive and different and somewhat unique for the um, handheld. So, go ahead, Game Boy Advance. Impress me. You know, wow me with your uh, graphics and gameplay. You know, push this hardware to its absolute limits. Because recently I've seen the Game Boy Advance do some quite impressive stuff looking at all these different 
games that, it, that the developers have cut out of the console. Okay, the big gems give you five. That makes sense. And... Okay, I've just done like two levels at once. Take a break from the puzzles and go for a fun board slide. For the... Keep... I... Wait, is this a snowboarding level? It is! One second! Radical dude! We found more I was expecting a, a full-blown FMV, um, uh, not FMV, uh, Mode 7, um, snowboarding sequence, but this will do! A 2D side-scrolling snowboarding sequence. That's a, this is cool, this is cool. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get all the gems because I'm going way too fast. You know, this is breakneck speed. But, yeah, I appreciate this. That was cool. I, I like that. that. was a nice break from the um, from that. Okay, back to the um, two. Yeah, start, retry. Back to the two-dimensional. Collectathon puzzles as we go. Okay, we can climb up ropes. Like, we've got some Donkey Kong action going on here. Okay. Uh, we can't open the door yet. For a moment, I thought I was going to easy end of a level. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently, there's more we need to do to uh, impress this game and gain access to said door. Although that would be a very short and um, poor level, if that if that's all there was, that would be um, that'd be disappointing. Okay. All right, I need to take a. An item up here. Okay, somehow I dropped my little my little enemy there, but you know, always get a new one. Okay. Okay, I sort of bounced it on my head there for a moment. That was a bit weird, game. I, I am thinking about um, looking at um, Golden Sun still. You know, it, it's still in the works. So I haven't forgotten about doing a video on the on the uh, first couple of Golden Sun games. I won't be able to do the DS one because it's not available to download. Okay, yes, I could emulate it, but. That's not really my thing. Okay, you could argue that this is emulation as well, but... Yeah, I suppose it's like a, an official emulator. I, I have been doing some thinking of... Um, if Nintendo does want to improve their online service even more, Game Boy Advance would be a good choice of um, console to add, add in next. A fantastic choice. Uh, you know, if you don't quite want to do GameCube yet, yeah, 
I think Game Boy Advance will be a excellent choice. It's a puzzle. Uh, let's see games I've been playing later lately. Um, well, I've been recording some more um, Simpsons Hit and Run. I'll get that out as soon as I can. That's my main series at the moment. That that's continuing, rather than these um, one-shot videos, or sometimes two shot if they're too long. Example the um the the Digimon video. I am hoping to show off some more Digimon games in the future as well. Okay. Okay, I'm just barely not able to jump high enough. I need a, a brick or an enemy up there. This is really tricky, guys. I'm... You know, this is a difficulty curve. I'm going to come back to that one later. Let's try this one. Oh! Okay, I can do this one. It's a... It's a forced side-scrolling section. I can do this. Moving very fast. Whoopsie. <laughs> Is it saying, oh no, every time I die? That's kind of cute and a bit, also a bit sad. Uh, let's see what games have been played. Uh, uh, Neo, the world is for you. Definitely enjoying it. Uh, games I've been looking at. I've been looking at um, uh, Live Alive or Live Alive. However you pronounce that that, that um, 2D remake pixel art square game. That's um, coming out soon. I've been looking at that and it, the graphics look pretty. It's a classic sort of art style and they're giving it voice acting, you know. You know, I I'm interested, damn it. Oh, I can't go backwards now because the um, level stopped scrolling. That's fine. Uh, what else have I been looking at? Well, I've also been looking at um, some. DS games as well. I, I might show off a, a DS game in the future via the um, Wii U gamepad eShop. The um, emulation that Nintendo's put together does work pretty well. It's it's good. I'm also thinking about showing off uh, some more Wii games. 
and possibly some um, PC stuff. So, yeah. Plenty of ideas coming down the pipeline. Also, thank you to all the viewers who supported my um, House of the Dead playthrough that me and Halima put together that early morning. I was surprised at how many uh, views I got. You know, 90. And uh, almost five thumbs up. You know, that's a big surprise. I, I mean, I'm glad I got the um, a video out pretty much on launch day, so I got a lot of traffic towards that. So that was good. No! I was doing so well! Okay, I'm glad I got all those extra lives because each fall is a is costing me a life here. I'm going to try and avoid a game over, but that might, that could be bad, we'll see. Okay, there is a life there, so I suppose you could cheese it and get infinite one-ups there, if you keep dying. I'm having trouble grabbing the enemy then, so that's what let me down there. Crap. Uh, let's see. Other things I've been playing and trying out lately. Um. I've been playing the, um... Hmm... Uh, well, I finished Kirby and the Forgotten Land on Switch. Thoroughly, and I do think thoroughly enjoyed it, it is easily the best Kirby game on the Switch. Although it's um, it's kind of harsh to compare um, the other Kirby game to it because it's they're very different. You know, one's two D, one's three D, and one is um, very status quo. One is um, a, 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 a bold new step for Kirby. So, yeah. Uh, if people would like to suggest certain games for me to do a, a series on, I am open to them. One suggestion was... Uh, uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing that one. It does play quite different from the original, so that's fine. Uh, the Resident Evil 1 remake? Uh, that's a definite. As for Resident Evil 3 remake? I I'm going to say no. Resident Evil 3 remake? Oh, I'm in a cannon. It's, it's going to be a no. Because... Resident Evil 3 Remake, it's so different from the original in, I'm going to say a pretty bad way, that I have very little desire to play it. Yes, the price has been slashed on the uh, PlayStation Store, you know, for sales and stuff, but even at a sale price, I don't think I'd look at it. It's... 
So, yeah, it's... It's disappointing that the game is like that. Because, with how good the um, first remake was, you know, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2 remakes, those first two, you know, I expected the third one to be at least be as good as the second one. Yes, the second remake does have its flaws, but it's nowhere near as flawed as the third remake. You know, that's my point. The, the quality has gone downhill and it's a noticeable downhill decline. I'm just gonna try this once more. Okay, got my brick up here now, so that's uh, made me a staircase. And I get my friend. And then. Yes, th yes, this is, this, is, this is definitely doable, I just keep dropping the enemy. So I've got to be careful about my. Um, my directional pad. Okay, the star up there. Not so sure I'm going to get that, but whatever. There's a key down here, so I'm going to just head in there. And we'll keep going. Okay, got a bouncy sonic spring. And we can build some um, height. And some momentum with, which is pretty cool. Are there any other games I'm excited for this year? Well, um, there's Digimon Survive, that's hopefully coming out this year. I mean, we haven't sort of got a com confirmed Japanese release date at least. I think it's either June or July, so that's nice. If the uh, Japanese release is is June or July. The um, UK and American release can't be that far behind that. Uh, that's good. I'm, I'm happy about that, you know. It'd be nice to finally see, it, see that game out and get to play it. Because it's had a five year development cycle. Okay, maybe if COVID didn't happen, it could have um, come out a little bit sooner. But, you know. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, where now? Slide that over there. Then slide that there. Um, and do that. Uh, and now what? Um. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out these um. Ricochet mechanics, because you can ricochet 
the uh, blocks and the enemies and the items, you know, off the walls. It's it's definitely. Oh wait, gotcha. It's an interesting thing to play around with. You've got to really think. I, I like this. It's Sort of reminds me of a game I've been playing on my. Oh, uh, playing on a bus at the um, Sears Tail, I think. It's a new Game Boy Advance game. It's a. A very well animated 2D platformer, kind of like this, but with smashing elements as well. I might show it off in the future. And it's, it's really cheap. I got one more star to get. I, I haven't seen it though. There it is. Oh, I see. So the stars open the door. Aha. Alright, I'm going to give this level one a try. Now that I know more of how the levels work and the mechanics. I might be able to figure this out or completely fail, you know. We'll see. Okay. Hey! Okay! That felt good, that felt like some progress, but it's not quite what I wanted, but it, it, I am getting there. I am definitely getting there. Okay. So, use that to grab that star there. And then do it again to grab the, the gem. Beautiful. Okay, I think this is the tutorial to take out to grab these um these um red balloon wing things. But we we already know this from the um side scrolling level we did earlier. I do like how the game unlocks uh, multiple levels, so you can sort of put the game levels out of order. And, you know, it, it's, it's nice that way. I, I definitely like that. I, I'm, I'm all for, um, you know, players choosing their own route. And, um... Not just going level for level, you know, have a little bit of um, choice and um, flexibility. You know, we need more choice in games rather than just linearity. Not linearity is bad, it's just I like choice. You know, you can go this way, but what about? If you make up your own mind and then go your own way. Okay. So the stars are important to beating the level. The gems just seem to be like a collectible. Which might be important for like an unlockable level. But... Whoa! Okay, I think I fell too far then.
Okay, just... Right. I do need a key down there, so I'm going to have to go down here. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think I got this. I, I just need a brick. There we are. Okay, I'm, I'm one star short, so that's how the level loops back around. Finish this one off now that I've figured everything out. Come on! That'll do! I'm happy with that. Brilliant. It seems the ones. Okay, got a boss fight now. This will be interesting. I, I was hoping to show up at least the first boss. Looks like some kind of arena. So, where is this monster? Hmm. So, you're next, huh? Oh, it's a punchy, spiky boxer thingy. Apparently I'm scrawny, aren't you? This won't take long. Wow, he looks strong. We have a chance unless we attack him from the rear. Okay, let's go. Fight, Mortal Kombat. Okay, come on, jump at me. Okay, right in the butt. Okay, I, I, I get this. I understand how this works. Whoa! Okay, got a shockwave. Okay, one more hit, guys. This is not bad for a first boss fight. It's not too difficult. Oh, he's starting to charge the warrors. Okay. I've been hit once, but... Oh! He made the mistake, and the mistake was fighting us in the first place. Gotcha! Oh, it's just a random boxer. What happened? You don't remember? I had a strange dream. I was really strong and the champion of the world, but th then a red mist appeared okay, and transformed into that spiky thing. Oh well, I guess that's why we shouldn't dream. Hmm. Right! That was an interesting um, world. And this is where I'm going to leave this DBT Gamer Special, because I feel like that's a good point to, you know, leave this game. And overall, I, I enjoyed playing this for the short time I had today. And if you'd like to see more of this, please leave me a comment and I might consider playing the whole game even. Anyway, thank you for watching guys. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.